to be a doctor or the president. So when my parents told me this as a kid, they're like, Chris, Chris, you could be whatever you want in this world. Don't let anybody tell you different. Hey, look at my eyes, Angel. You could be whatever you want. So when my parents told me this as a kid, I was like, cool, I'm gonna be a superhero. <laughs> Not knowing that they just tell us this to make us study harder. So when my friends were busy studying, I was busy trying to get spiders to bite me. Uh, <laughs> spider it, it's True, I'm banned from every pet smart. Um, I thought I'd be able like, to climb up walls and shoot webs out of my hands and shit. I even, <laughs> I even went as far as trying to convince my parents to leave through the back doors of theaters, like Bruce Wayne did in Batman. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Not that we have Batman money anyway. I would have been the Dark Knight in completely non-bulletproof wetsuit riding around Philly in a 93 Honda Civic with my pelt jingles as my sidekick. <laughs> So uh, I kind of gave up on being a superhero. But then recently, I saw an ad in the paper for laser eye surgery. And I thought to myself, I would love to shoot laser valves in my eyes. The pursuit to be a superhero is back on. But it just turned out to be a total scam. I knew something was fishy, though, because when I went in for the conference with the doctor uh, before the surgery in my uh, superhero costume, which was a... Uh, a blanket wrapped around my neck as a cape and my underwear outside of my pants. Um, he was laughing at me the entire time, which I thought was the most unprofessional shit I've ever seen. But then he went on with the surgery anyway, and then he charged me thousands of dollars to basically steal my glasses away from me. I can't even see through walls, it's bullshit. I grew up playing video games, and video games got so realistic nowadays, so I just thought that's how real life works, you know? I thought I'd be better prepared for this shit. Have you seen how realistic video games got nowadays? It's crazy. I love playing uh, the NBA games. Yeah, not only does every player look exactly like each other, Shaq sucked at the game in free throws just as much as he did in real life. And it was really sweaty. Yeah. I like playing with the Los Angeles Lakers because every time you reset the game, Lamar Odo marries a fat Kardashian. Yeah, yeah. And if you fail out with Kobe Bryant, you can see him on the sidelines flirting with white girls. It's crazy. I also play with the team LeBron James is on, but it's weird. When I go back the next day to play with that team, he's gone, despite uh, promising otherwise. Um, I, video games growing up, I thought were more wholesome. Like, you guys remember Super Mario Brothers? Everybody remember Super Mario Brothers? Yeah. If you don't, you lived under a rock as a kid. Um, Super Mario Brothers, I thought as a kid, was like the best game, you know? And then seeing from an older perspective, Super Mario Brothers is a game about two plumbers who do no plumbing whatsoever. Yeah, in fact, as far as I can remember, they take shrooms until they think they're in medieval times with castles and princesses. And then they beat up random strangers. And sometimes they think they can fly. It's, it's crazy. I bet, you, I bet you in real life, Toad was just their midget drug dealer. <laughs> Princess Peach was just the town whore that gets around. And Bowser was just a fat old guy who gets mad when the bros are in his yard. Oh, man. That was, that was a good game. Hey, you guys remember the game Frogger? Frogger? Yeah, a little frog that goes across the room. Yeah. When I, when I was young, I was like, oh, this is, this is harmless fun. Then seeing it from an older perspective, Frogger is a terrible game. Frogger is a game about a maniac depressive frog who doesn't want to make it to the other side of the road. So he's basically contemplating suicide every single time he goes across. And if he just so happens to make it across, he goes to a busier road. Like, I wouldn't know who drove the frog to that point that he's doing that to himself. It's crazy. I'll tell you though, the, the most realistic game nowadays is uh, Grand Theft Auto. I, I know, 
as weird as that sounds. But that's only because when I was driving down to the show tonight, a guy opened up my door, punched me in the face, threw me on the ground, and drove away in my 93 Honda Civic. So I'm going to need a ride home if anybody could help me out with that. All right, guys, it's been awesome. My name's Chris Moore. Christine, everybody, let them hear it. Uh, coming up next, the stage, give it up for Paul Easton. Paul Easton. Woo!